How do you throw a party in space? You plan it. Wah, wah. You're going to meet somebody who's actually funny. I'm Joe Kwan here in Covina. A man might get a chance to tell that joke, probably something better, up at the moon. And he says this will be his most important thing that he's packing. It's compact. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. But this provides Mark Gonzalez everything he needs to do what he loves. Who's here from Mars, huh? Mark is working on his stand-up act he plans to do in space. Well, that's if he's one of the people picked to take part in the first civilian mission to the moon. A Japanese billionaire purchased what's supposed to be the first private commercial space trip and had opened up applications to fill the eight seats to artists. Stand-up comedy, that's an art. So I figured, why not me? And since Mark submitted his application, he's been busy thinking of ways to prepare to travel to the moon. So how exactly do you prep? He says, well, there might be some turbulence. Maybe flying meteors. So I figured maybe, I don't know, you know, wrap myself in the blanket, go downhill, that could kind of, you know, like a bootleg version of it. Uh, so I figured that kind of might prepare me, at least for velocity. Uh, let me know how that goes. Here in his room, Mark has been doing some studying also. Instead of reading material, he's going with this type of research. Whoa. This cram session starts out with Alien vs. Predator. What I'm studying is just the way how they move and the way how they hate each other because uh, they're not hating anybody, any humans yet. So I'll be like right there in the back just watching. Mark says hiding will be his go-to if he happens to run into any hostile locals on the moon. He's also doing some extra exercises to prep. I'm sure I'm going to need some type of cardiovascular exercise there. So it's time for push-ups. Some of his prep happens outside. Here, using his cell phone, Mark says he's familiarizing himself with some of the things he might get a chance to get a closer look at in space. It's just so fascinating to me that, uh, you know, there's... Um there's other planets that could be just like ours out there. Something he's been fascinated with since he was a kid. It's mesmerizing. By the end of June, Mark should find out whether he's made the cut for the Dear Moon project, and he says he's only nervous about one thing. How safe is this spaceship? For now, from planet Earth, inside his room, Mark will focus on what he says is his most important job, working on his jokes. Laughter heals the world, you know, Definitely need some type of healing today uh, and tomorrow and for the future. And Mark says he hopes to bring the power of laughter and comedy to extraterrestrial life.